If you're thinking about buying a new construction home here in Central Florida, I think you might want to watch this video because today I'm going to talk about the worst and the best home builders in Central Florida, who you should avoid and who you can trust more than the others. My name is Ben Danholm and I'm a real estate broker here in Central Florida. For those of you who know, don't know me, I am with Maxim Realty Orlando and I have sold a lot of new construction in the area and I've also resold a lot of homes built by these builders. So I've talked to people who have sold homes from these builders to after they moved in and I've talked, talked to people who have actually been living in these homes and can come to me to help me, uh, to ask me to help them sell their homes after being in them for a few years. And I'm going to start in the lower end with what I would like to call the worst home builders in Central Florida, the builders that you should at least know that might have some issues if you buy homes from them. And the first builder at a, on my list here would be Ryan Homes. Ryan Homes is a big production builder. They build large scale production and they are quite often criticized by the people I talk to for cutting corners in their um, construction to reduce cost. They seem to be focusing more on affordability than on quality. And when, what I hear from people is they do have some quality control issues, particularly in their finishes, but also sometimes in their actual construction. So for these, for Ryan Homes, I would maybe want to reconsider if there's another option, you could take that or at least be wary that, yes, you are getting a relatively cheap product, but it might not be the quality that you expect. Another builder in that spectrum, is the NAR Homes. They are also a large production builder. They build a lot of homes all over the country. So I don't think it matters where you're from in the United States. You will probably at some point in time have heard of Lenar, maybe even had a Lenar community built near where, near where you live. They have a, an extremely high uh, production volume and they are pro providing very affordable homes. One thing I really do like about Lenar Homes is that what you see is what you get. And what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is with almost any other builder, if you go into a model home by, built by any other builder, if it's a $300,000 home, the actual model home has been upgraded for several thousand dollars, probably close to $75,000 to $100,000 in upgrades, meaning that the product you're looking at as the model home is not exactly what you're going to get built if you're just going for the base model. It's a bit like going into a car dealer and wanting to buy, say, a Kia, and they show you a Rolls Royce. That's sometimes what it feels like the difference is. That's not the case with the Lenar. Lenar don't really have any upgrades. So what you see is what you get when you walk into a model home. That is pretty much what your final home will look like if you choose that model and have it built. But they do have some issues um, and with quality, and that's anything from Finish part, uh, from finishes to actual construction problems. I have a few um, homeowners who are complaining about leaking roofs and not being able to get repairs done. And actually also sometimes uh, they did manage to get a few changes made to the home, but when they, when, when they move in or they go through the final inspection, the changes that were made were not exactly what was agreed with, with the NAR. So, Something to think about, but if um, if you want a, a big home at a relatively low cost, then the NAR is, is definitely a good choice. And also, if you want to know exactly what you're getting and you don't want to pay extra for a ton of upgrades to get a home that looks like the model home you're in, then the NAR is the builder for you. But be wary, they do have a lot of issues. Um, there's also been quite a few lawsuits against them. So. Think about that when you, before you, you choose. There are other options out there that might be better for you. You may have to pay a little bit more, but it could be worth it at the end. D.R. Horton is another very, very large production builder in our area. They claim that they are the largest builder in the United States, I believe. Um, and they are definitely focused on very, very high volume and very low cost homes. They are... Um, Often when people talk about DR Horton, that's when they talk about cookie cutter homes, which is homes that actually have a minimal attention to design. They are pretty generic homes and they are, feel very cheaply constructed. I would say in their defense that I have not had many people complain about construction issues, roof issues, or any structural things or any major things, but they do feel very cheaply uh, constructed when you walk into them. 
So that's just something to uh, bear in mind that, and, and again, they're actually one of the builders where the model homes might not be exactly what you're getting unless you pay for a lot of upgrades uh, when you buy your final home. So those were the um, worst builders, um, the builders that I think you should have a little bit of a um, concern about uh, and at least be aware, be, be, be know, be, be know, know that, that you could, um, you could run into some problems if you buy homes from these builders. Then I'll move on to what I would call some of the best builders in Central Florida. Some of the builders that have a relatively consistent uh, reputation for quality and good performance. With anything in life, especially something that's being built, that I wouldn't say that these builders build perfect homes, but they definitely built on average to a better quality and to a better standard than the ones I just talked about. And the first one I'm going to talk about is Pulder Homes. They are also a production builder, also a very large national um, builder. And almost like Lennar, I think that in most parts of the country, you will at some point in your life probably have been uh, in or near a Pulder community. They mostly build big planned communities and um, they do have some customizations available where you can choose different floor plans in the same model, maybe add an extra room, build a bigger uh, patio or build um, an extra garage or something. They have, they have some options there. Um, they are very focused on efficiency and volume in their construction, but they actually managed to turn out, turn out a, to turn out, turn out, turn out a, a pretty good product at the end of the day. So, and they, their homes don't look generic and they do cost a little bit more than say a uh, uh, D.R. Horton or Lennar home, but I personally think they're worth the extra money. Taylor Morrison is another production builder. They also classified uh, as a semi custom builder because they do have a lot of options that you can choose from, which sometimes if you're buying a, a Taylor Morrison home can make it difficult to determine how much would your home cost to build. I mean, obviously when you get, when you finish doing your upgrades and your customization, you will know what the home is going to cost. But if you look at the model and the base price, the end product might be significantly more expensive than what you started out. But I have lived in a couple of Taylor Morrison homes. I know a lot of people who live in Taylor Morrison homes. And while these are by no means actual custom or architect designed homes, they do have a high end finish uh, than most other builders. They have, they do feel like they're, they're quality built and the, uh, they do not definitely do not look like cookie cutters. They are not boring homes to look at. So that's another, that's a good choice. I think if you, if you're moving into the sort of the little bit of a, a high end um, type of build, but one thing I have actually noticed recently with Taylor Morrison that they have started to also build homes uh, that are more affordable. And I presume that these homes will be just as good as their, that the high end homes. Dreamfinder Homes is a builder that I have come across recently. I have not had the pleasure of living in any of their homes. They are another semi-custom builder. They have a lot of customization options and they have actually more options than a lot of other production builders. They do allow anyone who buys their homes to make a lot of changes to their floor plans, to the finishings, to the material choice. So you can really personalize, uh, say, personalize your home. Um, and they are very good at keeping their cost lower than a fully custom built home. So that's a builder that's worth considering. And I have had actually ha haven't heard any complaints from people who live in a dream finder home. Meritot home is another one. that's sort of a home. I have a, a home builder that I have a little bit of an ambulant, um, relationship with because I do know they have had a couple of communities around here where there were some lawsuits for poor construction. But overall, my impression from people I talk to is that they build um, good quality homes and they are very focused on being energy efficient. They are a green builder, meaning that they their homes are, are very um, energy efficient, like I said, and they are one of the better green builders in my opinion. Um, they may operate mainly as what's uh, as production builder like the other ones, but they uh, are very, very focused on using sustainable materials and using eco-friendly practice when they're building their homes, which might be something that's works worth considering. And in general, I haven't heard that many complaints about Meritage homes, but like I said, there are a couple of 
communities where they've had some issues. But I think they managed to resolve those, but maybe take that out before you build a, before you buy a Meritus home. But if you're looking for a green builder that builds something that's nice and customizable without being a fully custom home, then Meritus homes would be something that's worth considering. Toll Brothers is a luxury production builder in the area. They build high-end homes, uh, but they have had some, and I need to put that in here, they have had some criticism for a little bit of an inconsistent quality. I think when I talk to people, I've talked to in Toll Brothers homes, and when, I, when I've been in Toll Brothers homes, they always have this feel of a very high finish. They're very customizable, and they almost feel like a fully custom-built home when you go into them. So if you, you're not quite ready to pay the money for a, a perfectly customized, customized home, then Toll Brothers would be a very, very good choice. The good quality, they build almost anything you want to build if you can base it on any of their standard models. But like I said, they've had a couple of issues with some criticism um, for inconsistent quality. Not from anybody I know, but I thought I had to mention it, that I've, I've seen that when I did my research. I hope you find this video um, interesting and I also hope you find it useful. If you have any questions about buying new construction in Central Florida, please do contact me. I'm more than happy to help. I would like to be your resource for all, all things real estate in this area. And if you like my videos, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe a positive comment. If you think this is really not useful for me, let me know as well, because I'm, the only way I can make better videos is if you criticize the ones I do make. If you like it, like I said, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to have to get more content like this, to know more about what it's like to live and buy property and sell property in Southern Florida, then please do subscribe to my channel and maybe even hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to next time we see each other. Until now, until then, I mean, of course, bye for now.